Welcome to my shed. I purchased a Woodland Mills HM126 bandsaw mill three years ago and it wasn't until last summer and last fall that I decided to build a bit of a structure down here by my mill for storage, like putting extra bandsaw blades, my chainsaw, a few extra tools, jerry cans, um, things to keep out of the weather and away from the bears. I built this entirely out of trees from my property using the bandsaw mill. I built it all by myself and I'm not a carpenter. I have zero experience, just I'm teaching myself as I go. I also wanted to use as few purchase materials as possible. So other than buying the roofing metal, the fasteners, the nails and the three panes of glass for the windows, that's the only thing it cost me. Platform is eight by eight and the shed itself is five and a half feet by eight feet in the inside. I'll take you through and I'll show you how how much of the tree I tried to use. I used a lot of the tree. I used a lot of slab cuts um, and I used, this is all cedar slab cuts that I had just kicking around that would have been for firewood. One of the things that I think people have that have a sawmill, you have a lot of um, broken, maybe broken blades. I have broken a few blades um, and what do you do with them? So I don't know, I came up with that silly little idea just for fun. So I'm here now, I just wanna finish up tidying up a few things on the inside. So I thought I would just take you guys along and show you what I'm gonna do. The majority of this structure is built out of hemlock with a little bit of pine and cedar mixed in there. The base is made out of true two by sixes and I just covered that with one inch floorboards. The walls, roof rafters, and ridge board are all made out of true two by four and the worst of the scrap slabs are pieced together to make up the roof boards. I hate seeing wood go to waste, so I wanted to use as much of the tree as possible, and you will later see just how much I hate seeing scrap wood go to waste. Okay, so welcome to the inside. We're on the right side here. I've already started. Um, I went ahead and built this winter just a simple basic bench. Over here, I'm going to put a white board, like a dry erase board, because it's good to put your thoughts down in a shed and your projects and all the things that you want to get done. And over here, I'm going to put my bandsaw blades. So this kind of space I had planned for just like a little coffee and tea bar, just a place to come grab a chair, make a cup of coffee or a cup of tea so I don't have to go all the way back up to the house. Not that it's that far, but it would just be nice. Um, I'll show you the these windows, just single glass, single pane here. Those three windows I just got from my local glass store and I think I paid $50 Canadian for those three panes. I do need to build a door and I'm gonna make a sign for the front too. There's Hannah, she is my little sidekick one of my four dogs and uh, she's the uh, site supervisor. So you'll probably be seeing Hannah along with the uh, projects. Starting with the coffee and tea bar area, I wanted to make a sign. I had bought this wood burning tool a few years ago and I've never used it. So I thought I would give it a try here in this project. I then routered the edges to give it a bit of a finished look. Now the goal for the inside of this sawmill storage shed was to cover up the gaps from the slab wood and create a more an inviting creative space. I used vertical battens to cover up the vertical gaps and then as I played around with different ideas in my head I decided to add some horizontal battens, stain everything black in hopes to kind of give it this chic coffered look. Now moving on to where the sawmill blades are going to go, again the idea is to just cover up these gaps. And I used scrap wood for this because that's all I had and I was basically scrounging and scraping through the graveyard bin of the scrap pile and my friend's scrap pile to achieve this. I scrounged, measured, cut and tacked into place until I had nothing left. Had a little fun along the way. And this is what I ended up with. I wanted to make a couple of signs for this area as well, just to denote where the dull blades would go and where the sharp blades would go. 
this is just out of plywood and again the wood burning tool so here the next area for the whiteboard I originally did these cedar slabs and didn't really like it nor did I had enough of the material so I went ahead with plan B and that was pallet wood it was the only thing I could think of for free scrap wood so I began the tedious process of dismantling the pallets and taking the nails out but luckily I had Clyde there keeping me company thanks buddy I then gave these a quick sand to achieve the patina I was going for. And because these scrap boards look different than the previous scrap boards, I decided to put these vertically. And I just continued with all the material that I had until I ran out. I built this shelf below the bench out of ripped two by sixes, scrap left over again. And I had this pine board that I milled a couple of years ago that uh, was really the only thing I could use for the space. So I peeled the bark off, gave it a quick sand and put those into place. I had some blades, dull blades, left over from last year that I needed to sharpen and get ready for the season. So I did that and went ahead and just played around with some arts and crafts. Up goes the whiteboard and the list of projects. Now this is in no particular order and isn't the complete list of projects that I have, but it's just a few that were on the top of my head that I wanted to get written down while I was there. Okay guys, I think I'm gonna cap it off here. I'll take in and show you what I've done. Come on in. So here we have, yes, our little coffee and tea bar little mug I have a little camp stove coming and obviously some coffee and tea you know and then I'm gonna make a stool I'm gonna have a couple stools I need a place to sit in here so here yes we have our our dull section and here we have our sharp section of blades I kill myself <laughs> the whiteboard with the projects I went ahead and changed up these shelves they were a little bit thicker I thought it looked nicer I found this wood too it was kicking around from when the house was built here the last thing I did was this vintage chainsaw. Now I found this for sale a few days ago and thought it looked really cool. So it's just for decor. I don't think this shed is going to be its permanent home. It's a little bit big. I didn't think it was going to be that big. But the, I think the plan originally was anyway that it would go into one of the cabins that I build. I think that's all. Uh, I have more things to do, but I will save that for another time. Like I said, I gotta build a door. I'm gonna build some, some stools. I'm gonna make a sign. I'm gonna stain it. Yeah, so anyways, but that's it for now. Thanks a lot for hanging out with me.